In St. Martinville, a woman is embarking on a challenging medical journey, seeking to receive a double transplant, something she says she's been waiting for for seven years. Our News 10's Kai Price spoke with her and her family about what this life-changing surgery could mean for the future. Kai. Britt, Taria Johnson tells me she's been waiting to receive this life-changing surgery for the past seven years. Just recently in August, she says she was told by doctors she would need to be cleared for the transplants, but says the surgery was canceled due to the organs not being a perfect match. As she continues to wait for the right time, she says she will remain obedient and earnest. I was just going in for a, like, a normal checkup and the blood work came back that 85% um, of my kidneys wasn't functioning and I was working off of 15%. Teria Johnson says her journey began on September 9th, 2018, a date that would change her life forever. After getting a second opinion with a nephrologist, she learned she would also need a new pancreas. When I did the second opinion, they did a full thorough of everything and he told me that I needed another pancreas because I was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of 15. Since being diagnosed in 2018, Johnson says she's been in and out of dialysis to be put on the waiting list for both transplants. She was told she would need to shed weight and eat healthier. Her father says he's been with her every step of the way, being her source of comfort and attending doctor appointments with her. I start make sure she there and when she said, Dad, I'm there, I'm about to walk in. I said, all right, call me when you get out of there. I'll talk with you on the way back, you know. And I've been doing that, like she said, for seven, seven plus years. Her mother, Bernadine, has also been a huge support for Teria. She says it hasn't been easy to watch her daughter go through her journey, but she reminds her every day to have faith. Many your nights, I sat down, I look at my baby, and I sat down and cried. I mean, actually cried by myself, you know, and just prayed and asked God to walk with us with this disease. Every day I remind her, you know, that she got God on her side. Terry's older son says he and his brother had to care for their mom at a young age, but he says their mom is their main priority and says they will be there to help her conquer it all. She has a little more priority when it comes to everything. I try to instill in my little brother, you know. God made us grown early. You know, I've been doing this since I was 15, 16. You wouldn't even tell if you saw me on daily basis, but that's just, you know, boy, go out and get your battle, you're going to make sure you can stand through it. Despite all of her challenges, Johnson says she wants to become a patient advocate and help others through their struggles. I want to help someone else with their journey and let them know everything is going to be okay. You know, you just got to be obedient and patient mm -hmm. and believe in your higher power and know that he's going to take you through that next level, you know, where you need to be. Don't give up. Give up is not an answer. Now Johnson says she will be homebound for a year after the surgery. However, she says she plans to go back to school to get a degree in business and aspires, aspires to travel the world with her two sons. Kai Price, Caleb Y, News 10.